you're gonna come just now. Thank you so much. So where are we going today? We're going to Yemen? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay, guys, today it's time to go to Yemen. And I've actually been to Socotra for one week in, I think it's one, one year ago now. One and a half year ago, actually. I always wanted to go to the mainland. This will just be a relatively short trip for me. Normally, I stay long time in places. But hopefully, I'll go back to Yemen. I'm actually planning to make a group trip for a lot of people to bring them to Yemen because there are so many beautiful places. Shibam, Amramud. Sana hopefully one day. Now it's a little bit off limit, but hopefully one day. So yeah, if you want to join the group trip that I'm planning to make in the upcoming months, you can check this link below and let me know if you want to join. And today I'm with Wafi. Wafi, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, all countries are more welcome. So we are both Real Madrid fans. How long have you been Real Madrid fans? Seven years. Was it because of Ronaldo? Well, <laughs> Very good. Yemen also has around 200 islands, which belongs to Yemen. And the most important and the biggest one is Socotra, where I've been for one week. Of course, a lot of desert. Yemen is primarily desert, but it also has a lot of islands and a lot of ancient architecture, like the old walled city in Shiban, the UNESCO World Heritage Site, which Sana is. So many stunning buildings and architecture in Yemen. Today we'll have a little look at how beautiful Yemen is. So Oman and Yemen, they have always had good relations? Yeah, they have the best relationship, yes. Okay. When the war starts and the Saudi border are closed, all Yemenis, they don't find any way to go to go. from Yemen, yeah, only for Oman. Okay, so that's why a lot of Yemenis are in Oman. Yeah, yeah you can say that. Uh, also for medical, for both sides, the Houthis or the government, the Oman uh, gives them like medical for free. So here in Salalah, the buildings are quite mud. In Muscat, it's even more. Sure, when we cross Yemen, it will feel like we're going back in time when we cross to Yemen. Where in Yemen is the situation the worst right now? It's actually near Sana'a or Sana'a, or you know, Marib, special Marib. Also, the way to there, many checkpoints, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The government checkpoints, all the checkpoints, tribes, checkpoints, also all guided checkpoints. I heard that they might open up a flight route or something to Sana'a. Yeah, before they open it, Jordan to Sana, they, it, I think, maybe three flights and they, they stopped again. No. Okay. The language in Yemen is obviously Arabic. Common greeting is Assalamu Alaikum. The person you greet reply Walaikum Salam. How do you say hello? Kefalak. Kefalak. How are you? Kefalak. Kefalak. Yeah. As you know, in Arabic countries, it's all different dialects. So if you go to Iraq or you go to Morocco, it will probably be different from. Yemen. Every country has their own interpretation of Arabic. But Kefalog is also in other countries. How do you say what's your name? Shuas Mike? In Yemen, Masmek. 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 Okay, that's very different. In the past, Yemen was known as the happy land in the Arabic. Another fun fact is that Mocha, the coffee that many of you probably drink, is from Yemen. There's a city on the Red Sea coast named Mocha. Do you say Mocha? Mocha, yeah. And a very important part of the Yemeni culture is chewing cats. I don't know, in Oman, do you do it that no, much? it's illegal. All it's the illegal the, in Oman? Illegal, Gulf countries, yeah. Only in Yemen. Only in Yemen, yeah. Somalia, maybe you can find Somalia it. also. Somalia. Eastern part of Ethiopia, they eat a lot of cat. The funny thing is, when I went to Socotra, I brought my drone and I was flying it in uh, some areas. And then out of a sudden, the police came in Socotra, the Yemeni police, and I was like, oh, this is not gonna be good. I'll have problems now. Then the police stopped and they just handed out cat to everyone and then they left again. So, cat is uh, it's very important. You <laughs> see everyone chewing it. So, we'll see if it's the same when we cross the border here to mainland Yemen. So, I try like Pretty big chump in Socotra. I didn't like it so much. For how long? Like one hour, I think. I chewed. After two hours, no. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. They chew it all day. Yeah. Well, guys, I have a beautiful viewpoint in Oman. We're getting closer to the border of Yemen, and now I'll change to the Yemeni outfit. Everything is important. Do I need to hold something? Okay. Uh, can you open your lips like Yeah. Yeah. To walk. Like Cristiano. Okay. Yeah. See you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. When you will walk, this is a good. No, okay. Now, okay. So oh, Wafi is from Oman, but now he's making me Yemeni. <laughs> it's very nice. Okay. The scarf. The scarf. Yeah, it's very important. <laughs> very important, yeah. This is Yemeni scarf. Unfortunately, it's a local. You can say Al Mar region, the first region, or okay, Oman. Okay, so yeah. both Oman and Arab, 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 yeah. Arab, yeah. <laughs> I have to find a non-degree, but I don't find. I can do it. 
Ja. Most Arab countries have their own style. You see someone sometimes you see, oh, this is Saudi guy, this is Qatari guy. Yeah, this one is the common yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> is it good, guys? So, guys, now I'm wearing the outfit here for Omani side, Yemeni side. This is Yemeni style. Mm -hmm. The Futa mm -hmm. and Qatar. Yeah. Futa. And now we're ready to go to Yemen. Look at this view, it's just absolutely amazing. The mountains. Less than halfway. <laughs> yeah, less than, to be honest. Less than halfway. But uh, we just saw some very beautiful mountains and I got changed. When you travel around Yemen now, you need a lot of permits because there's been some incidents in the past. Yeah, you see the sign with Yemen. We're closing in. 33 kilometers to mainland Yemen. I did Socotra one and a half year ago. Now it's time to go to mainland Yemen. There's a Swedish digger here, someone from Sweden have been here. So that's good to see that Scandinavia has been in this region. Yemen. Yalla, yalla. Now we are getting closer and closer to cross the border to Yemen. I'm actually very, very relaxed about this border crossing. I know some people I've seen on, on YouTube have been <laughs> super anxious about crossing to Yemen. It's a little bit funny to see these kind of reactions, but yeah, I feel really good about going to Yemen. I'm really excited to see mainland Yemen and how it is there. Was it a new car accident, that one? Look really bad. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Crash the guy. Yeah. It, only if he's jumping before that. Oh, yeah, if he makes like a TV movie, just <laughs> jumping. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's very zigzag road. Yeah. Did you have anyone with you from Denmark before? No, you are the first one. Five years, no Denmark entering Yemen. Okay. Only, or... Okay. Oh, they speak mountain language? Wow, it's so big, this mountain. Yeah, you can see the border there. Oh, there, over there. Lots of Oman border over there. Okay, guys, now on the Umani border crossing, I'm waiting for someone to come and ask me a few questions where I'm going and stuff. Yeah, I don't think it will be that serious. But, uh, salam. Hi. How are you? Come, come. Hello. So, this is Auf. It's very hard for me to say. Anyway, there's a lot of trees there. I think I heard something similar in Socotra to this. From which part of Yemen is this music? Sana. Sana music. First steps in mainland Yemen. Let's see if we can get some good views here. Yeah. Of Horf. Horf? Horf. 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 a really good location down there. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yemen! Mainland Yemen!